Hi everyone, my name is Justina from JW Photography and today I would like to show you the amazing new LSP actions which Lauren created for us called LSP Baby Composite Action Set. This action set is going to help you to create um, amazing digitals for your customers. Um, it's no problems whatsoever anymore for you to create proper looking shadow. Um, it's really easy step by step uh, explanation uh, and instruction on the screen. You just literally follow steps by steps with the layers which you will have it here. I also receive this beautiful digital image created by Lauren, um, which is very great as you can create um, dark, darker images where baby is placed on a dark stuffer, or you can change that for a uh, white uh, stuffer or curls, um, which gives more variety for you. I will be showing you a quick video of the dark setup here. Uh, then what you need to do is just to have your baby as such a ready. Um, I will be choosing baby on a brown posy because we are going to put baby on a brown uh, stuffer. Then what you need to do is literally uh, place your baby here in that uh, place by playing this first set, which says add baby, play this action first. Then let me just find the baby and I think I'm going to use um, Henry here. Here we go, just place. Baby will become a little bit more transparent, uh, less transparent, sorry. That means you will be able to adjust baby uh, to the prop the way you want. It really makes sense, as you can see through how you would like to place baby here. I always like to place my baby head a little bit on the edge of my prop. Uh, and this is why I always steal baby head this way. So it looks more natural. Baby is not too small for that prop, uh, which again looks more realistic. And then just enter, which will place baby there. And then it stays for you to use a brush um, to brush baby on. I'm just going to brush my baby in. And then I will be removing my posy. It's always easier to uh, photograph baby on very similar uh, fabric than if you are going to use darker digitals. Just make sure uh, you will uh, photograph your baby on a darker fabric like brown posy. If you are going to use digitals which have white curls, then just uh, photograph your baby on one white curls, um, which you can get uh, in UK from Kuchiku. They are one of the best ones I use all the time. I'm just going to remove my posy all over. It won't be perfect edit uh, as I'm trying to do a quick video. And if I remove my baby, I can easily change my brush to opposite color and then paint baby back on. I see it's quite okay. I can still see posy somewhere. Uh, but again, this is a quick video, then it won't be perfect. Edit. Okay, then we have baby there. And now this is the time uh, where I will be adding shadows. Let me just remove that because it really is visible there. And then I'm going to place uh, the second uh, action, which is blending baby in. And you have gentle shadow under the baby, heavy shadow under the baby, and also shadow over the baby, which makes sense because there's always shadow falling on your baby. Then a first one, I will do the gentle one, which spreads behind the baby somewhere here. Okay, and then I will probably add darker one. Somewhere here. And if you think it's too much, you can always play with opacity. And then shadow on a baby. 
which I think might be falling here. And then again, you can do the opacity. Now, if I show you before and after, you can already see uh, how easy that is and how the shadow makes uh, the baby looking realistic. Um, next one, I will probably darken my baby because for sure my baby is a little bit uh, too bright for that. Then just darken my baby a little bit. And if it's too much, I will just play with my opacity. And I will probably warm up my, my baby as well. Okay, again, if it's too much, I can always change the opacity. Okay, next one will be uh, blending the colors. Then we have to select baby, which says over here, play this. And I will just paint on the baby, which is going to change and adjust a little bit. Again, if it's too much, I can take opacity off. Uh, I can play with saturation as well. And maybe this one as well. Then just, just play with it and see what it gives you. Then I will be going into uh, next step, uh, step four, which is optional. You can just uh, blend white or uh, bl blend dark uh, layer setups. Uh, like I'm saying, it's optional. You don't have to do it. Just see what this does for your edit. But I for sure will go into step five uh, because I would like to edit my digital um, to match the mood of the whole image. Then just play this one. And then you can uh, darken the backdrop, which I think will uh, leave this way. I would love to use vignette. Okay, I will warm up uh, also my backdrop. And then at the end, I can just go for the finishing touches, which is my favorite creamy matte finish. I can maybe play uh, dark. as well, which is quite good. If I think it's too much, again, I can play with opacity. I can probably go back to dark and baby uh, because I still think that they, my, my baby is a little bit too bright and maybe uh, contrast my baby a little bit here. Maybe too much. And uh, that's it. Then if I just show you quickly without the shadow and with the shadow, how easy is that? Love it. Thank you, Lauren, for this. I hope you all will enjoy to use the uh, action set and you will be creating more digital with ease now. Good luck, everyone. And thank you, Lauren, again, for giving me these options to try them. Bye.